Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Julie and I am the author of the blog CapturingWonderland.com. Today I am going to show you how I am going to take a single piece of driftwood and a piece of plywood, create some stencils, and make a beautiful sleepy hollow Halloween sign. I'm gonna use it in my dining room and then also in my porch decor. But without further ado, let us get started on the entire process. I can't wait to show it to you. It is super cool and I am very happy with it. All right, let's go. I thought I would go ahead and make a stencil of it just for ease because I'm gonna have to do painting. So, so let's just get into the process. I am currently laminating the cardstock. I use 80 pound cardstock for all of my stencils just because it's a much hardier paper and therefore it's a lot easier to maintain your crisp clean lines when you're using your pencil to draw on them in between all of those thin places. It, once you laminate it, it makes it really easy to get that really crisp clean line. All right, so I printed out another copy of the sign and I put it together. I had to kind of Frankenstein it together. So FYI, these sides are apparently not symmetrical, so they do not line up perfectly. Don't know why. So I had to kind of make do. I'm not trying to use the sign as is. I'm using it as a template to cut out and make my own sign. So I found a piece of plywood here that is pretty much the exact width of this sign which is awesome i'm going to use my pencil to trace out the rest of the design and then i'm going to use my jigsaw to cut it out So the reason why I did that was because there was already circular points at the top and the bottom so I figured I might as well just use something circular to make those and then I also have a hole to get in with my jigsaw that way so makes it a little bit easier. Pretty awesome. The other side looks pretty good too. Actually looks better than this side. <laughs> There's less splintering. So now I'm going to go and take it and I'm going to sand it down really good and then we're gonna start. Can you see a little spider on my lens? There's a little baby spider on my lens. There he is. <laughs> Hello little spider. All right, I'm going to go and sand this and then I'm going to paint it. Mr. Spider, you're gonna have to get off. the stencil cut out for the words sleepy hollow and now I'm just going to stencil them out I think that's looking pretty good you probably can't see it very well because it's just pencil <laughs> but I'm gonna go get my paints and my paint brushes now and begin the long arduous process of painting it Thank you. 
I think it looks really cool and I'm actually going to stain the wood um, I would have stained it before but I don't think that I would have been able to see the pencil marks if I would have stained it dark before I did this so I'm gonna actually stain carefully on top of the paint a little bit I'm gonna use um, my paintbrush <laughs> to get around the letters and hopefully stain this up really pretty I'm very happy with it and I actually already have a hanging, like a base for it in mind. So let me get this cleaned up and get the stain out and we're gonna stain it. I've got my stain, I'm going in with my typical early American and I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. So it is completely done. Look at it. It looks awesome. The only thing I have to say is I kind of wish that I had some way to highlight the words a little bit more. They kind of get lost in the dark wood. But other than that, I have no complaints. I love the driftwood sign holder. Absolutely. These two brackets were things that I already had laying around, so I spent zero money on this entire getup. And yes, that is partially because I hoard everything, so I know that there is a use for something, so I tend to hold on to it as long as possible in my shed and try to come up with ways to use it being creative. I mean, this was really fun. I found that inspiration piece, the sign on Etsy. And by the way, I will link to the sign for you just in case you wanna just go ahead and buy the sign because it was really cute and I liked it. But what I loved most about it was the shape of the sign and then I also liked the font of the Sleepy Hollow. And I will have all of the details in the blog post written for you down below. Don't forget to check that out, especially if you're wanting to make your own Sleepy Hollow sign. Obviously, probably not everyone is going to have driftwood, but surely there is something lying around. I've been holding on to it because it was super cool. I loved the knots on it and it just looks really neat. So it was the perfect sign holder in my opinion. I love it. It was a bit of a process. Says, I'm not the best at font, like painting in the, the font, but I did my best and I feel like I did a pretty good job. You can let me know in the comments if there was anything that you would change about it or if anything that you would add to it even. I would be interested to hear your opinions on the matter. I love it in my dining room, but it's also gonna be a part of my porch decor when it comes time for Halloween. I would like to make it a little bit more fun for my kids and any of the kids that come to my house for Halloween candy. I hope to be sharing a lot more more of the process with you. I hope to do a porch reveal, kind of uh, build a Halloween porch out with you when it comes time for that. Um, so be looking for that video as well. I also have a couple more really fun videos and tutorials coming up having to do with this dining room itself. I had thought originally that I was gonna make it all in one, but it was just way too much information and too many projects. We will see you in the next video. Thank you so much guys for watching all the way through. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like the video if this is content that appeals to you and subscribe if you're not and be a part of this community here at Capturing Wonderland. I would love to have you a part of the community and share all of these great projects and lots of DIYs with you and how to decorate on a budget or with no budget. So those are the kinds of challenges my creative mind really thrives on. So thanks again, guys. I can't wait to share more with you. See you later. Bye.